Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a vital topic to discuss that directly impacts all of us in the digital age, and that is computer and electronic equipment insurance policies. Are you ready to embark on a journey that transforms the way you safeguard your digital companions? Picture a world where you can work, play, and connect with unbridled enthusiasm, knowing your valuable electronic equipment is shielded against the unexpected. We unravel the mysteries of computer and electronic equipment insurance, your gateway to a worry-free digital realm. Whether you're a business owner, a freelancer, or a tech enthusiast, your valuable electronic equipment is not only essential to your work and lifestyle, but also represents a significant investment. And that's where the importance of a computer and electronic equipment insurance policy comes into play. Join us as we unveil the hidden gem that promises to redefine your tech experience and provide unparalleled peace of mind your tech security is about to reach a whole new level. Definition and Coverage What is Computer and Electronic Equipment Insurance Policy? A computer and electronic equipment insurance policy is an all-risks type of insurance coverage designed to protect individuals or businesses from financial losses associated with damage, loss, or theft of their electronic devices and equipment. This type of insurance is especially relevant in today's digital age, where electronic devices play a crucial role in both personal and professional activities. This cover can also be defined as an insurance policy designed to offer compensation for sudden and unforeseen physical loss of or damage to the computer equipment and software programs, plus recompiling of data lost or damaged similarly, and increased cost of working occasioned by loss of or damage to the equipment insured. What items are covered under this policy? Computer and electronic equipment insurance provides coverage for a wide range of devices, including but not limited to 1. Computers Such as desktops, laptops, servers, and workstations. 2. Peripherals Such as monitors, printers, scanners, and external hard drives. Three. Communication devices, such as smartphones, tablets, and communication systems. 4. Audiovisual equipment, such as cameras, camcorders, projectors, and audio equipment. 5. Office equipment, such as copiers, fax machines, and office electronics. 6. Software and all other accessories. What risks are covered by this policy? The policy typically covers various risks and scenarios, including a. Accidental damage. Coverage for repairs or replacements in case of accidental damage, such as drops, spills, or other unexpected incidents. b. Theft. Reimbursement for the value of stolen equipment. C. Fire and natural disasters. Compensation for damage caused by fires, floods, earthquakes, or other natural disasters. D. Power surges. Coverage for equipment damage due to power surges or electrical faults. E. Vandalism Against intentional damage or vandalism F. Business interruption Compensation for income loss if your business operations are interrupted due to equipment damage When considering a computer and electronic equipment insurance policy, it's essential to assess your specific needs and the value of your equipment. Different policies might have varying coverage limits, deductibles, and exclusions. Some policies might cover only a specific list of perils, 
while more comprehensive policies could offer broader coverage. When purchasing such a policy, you'll need to provide details about the devices you want to ensure, their value, and any specific risks you want to be covered against. Premiums will generally depend on factors such as the type of equipment, coverage limits, deductible amounts, and the level of risk associated with your location and usage. Computer and electronic equipment insurance provides a layer of financial protection and peace of mind in case unexpected events damage or disrupts your electronic devices, ensuring that you can quickly recover and continue your personal or business activities. End of Part 1 We take a small break and will continue with the second part in our next video. Stay tuned!